Hey, it's Matt, your average gamer, and this is the Sword of Night and Flame build that I've been working on. Now, before we get into build details here, this is New Game Plus 7, by the way, Journey 8. Definitely hit that subscribe button. You're going to want to subscribe to this channel. We're going to be doing a ton of over overpowered builds. We've already done a whole bunch of overpowered stuff, really fun PvE stuff. And when DLC inevitably comes out, we're going to be up to date on everything, giving this channel the latest and best possible PvE builds. Now, with that said, there was a lot of people asking for a Sword of Night and Flame build post-patch 1.07. The reason is is because its damage was increased while now allowing us to actually aim the Comet Beam, making it kind of more convenient and honestly, making it good again. But the question is, since this is a review and a build video, is the Sword of Night and Flame back to its glory days? Is it still an S tier PVE weapon? Is it the D tier that it probably was in between before patch 1.07? Or is it somewhere in between? And the answer that I'm going to come up with here that I kind of figured out and you can kind of see how it's going is it's a very good weapon. We're going to talk about the benefits of using this weapon along with the flaws of the weapon and an entire build that's going to buff it a lot and maximize damage. First thing I want to put on here though in regards to the Sword of Night and Flame, this is a fun weapon. When it comes to weapons that are just fun this is a very unique and fun weapon the fact that we get fire and magic damage out of it is awesome it's a really fun weapon to use and it does a lot of damage when utilized properly but it does have its flaws as well when the game launched this was one of the best pve weapons if not the best pve weapon to use but it fell from grace after a patch quickly nerfed it to oblivion now after many request from people that play the game and comments on how bad it was, they've rebuffed it to some extent. Its range still isn't where it needs to be though, and we're going to go over that in a second after we go over equipment. So you can see here we have the Sword of Night and Flame, a cold short sword because you can on proc it with the fire from the Sword of Night and Flame, the Black Dumpling, the Magic Scorpion Charm, Ritual Swords Talisman, Shard of Alexander, Dragon Crest, and the Magic Tear. Everything we're using basically will boost it and utilizes it best to kind of get the maximum amount of damage that we can possibly get. Now you can use Terra Magica as well, we'll talk about that in a second. But first, these are my 150 stats. We're on Journey 8 here, this is what I have going for me. 65 on the Intelligence is the big one because that allows us to get a lot of damage from the Comet itself. And that really does equate directly to the magic damage on the beam, while Faith is your fire damage, but the fire damage version of it, the R2 since I'm on Xbox, is very slow. So it's hard for me to recommend the fire part of it because it's better for sneaking up on crowds or bosses, like mini bosses, that don't see you. So let's take the Sword of Night and Flame, and let's fight Radon on max scaling. As you can tell, it does a lot of damage, but the range is still questionable. At times, I thought I was going to actually hit with the beam when I didn't. It's still really short, and in comparison to Comet Azure, it just doesn't have that level of range. And since we have a short duration on it as well, you have to begin to ask, where does it stand in regards to other magic things that you could do in the game if you're going to rock 60 or more intelligence anyway? Is the Sword of Night and Flame still good? Honestly, yeah, it is. Because it's convenient. Because you can move around with it. Which is one of the reasons why I'm not casting Terra Magica for the extra 35%. Is because I'd rather move. The fact that you're getting mobility with it actually really helps and by the way yes that did end in a crotch shot that was pretty funny but yes radon went down after just two or three tries with the sword of night and flame on max scaling not too bad there now the fire damage is really good for tree avatars that's something that can definitely destroy them rather quickly it works extremely well against them and i would definitely recommend it I did want to mention one more thing that I noted here, is you cannot regenerate stamina while you're in power stance mode or the Sword of Night and Flame mode, whatever you'd like to call it, Sword of Night and Flame stance I believe is what it's exactly called. You 
do not regenerate stamina with the stance, which is actually kind of weird. I didn't, I, I kind of don't understand that because sometimes you can get into the mood or the mode of getting right past to that stance to kind of hit again, and you'll realize that your stamina will stop generating. So you do have to pay attention to that. As far as the beam goes, though, as you can tell, it's highly damaging, and with the build we have here, it works really effectively. This is on max scaling, and the damage is honestly quite good. Is the Sword of Night and Flame an S-tier weapon again? Is it the god weapon that it was at the beginning at launch? Maybe not, but I would put it in a B-tier as opposed to a C or D, and it's definitely worth looking into. If you like this video, definitely sub. There's a lot more great builds on my channel and a lot more on the way. Thanks for watching.